This is ANN News Brief. Good afternoon. I'm Lucy Adeyemi. Belgian authorities have responded favorably to a court request to allow former DR Congo Vice President John Pierre Bemba to stay in Belgium where his family lives. He was cleared of criminal charges by the International Criminal Court last week. Belgium Foreign Affairs Minister Deodor Reinders said on Thursday in a statement that the handover will be finalized in the coming days. Bimba left the detention center last Friday after they kept behind bars with the International Criminal Court in The Hague. The judgment says he could not be held criminally liable for, for crimes committed by his troops in the Central African Republic in 2002 and 2003. 55-year-old Bimba had been so sentenced unanimously to 18 years in 2016 by ICC trial judges after a decade behind bars following his arrest in Belgium at the International Court's request. The militia opposed to Libyan strongman Khalifa Haftar has attacked on Thursday all sides under its control, inflicting fresh disruption on an industry that forms the country's economic backbone. One of the reservoirs was hit by a rocket that set it ablaze, causing production to fall by 240,000 barrels per day. A military source say the attack was carried out by the Benghazi Defense Brigades, including armed fighters driven from Benghazi city by forces loyal to Haftar. Rival political authorities and militias have been vying for control of territory and Libyan oil wealth since 2011 uprising, during which dictator Muammar Gaddafi was ousted and killed. We'll be back after this message from MTN. Are you sure you want to do this? Adam, go and bring us your husband. Okay, hello baby. We're in this together, okay? Can you hear me? Keep coming forward. Wait, 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 stop, stop. <laughs> you okay, Lindsay, you alright? <laughs> Keep walking down. Keep walking to the left. Yes. You're almost here. Keep going. You are here. <laughs> wow, you did it. I'm just so glad I didn't have to use my cane to do this. And I am so glad no other man got you before me. Let me be your eyes. We will never stop working to give you a network you can rely on so you can enjoy life's special moments. MTN, everywhere you go. Scientists at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and Kwamfo Anoye Teaching Hospital in Ghana have designed beads to help mothers monitor children's respiratory rates to detect early stages of pneumonia. UNICEF says pneumonia accounts for approximately 2,400 deaths per day in children younger than five years old. Professor Daniel Anzong, lead researcher at the university, says Sometimes parents and caregivers ignore the symptoms of pneumonia until children are nearly unconscious and the disease has become severe before coming to doctors. That's ANN News Brief. Join us again at 5 for a full newscast. I'm Lucy Adeyemi.